Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This time I'm going to go over making a chair using Neos' avatar anchor system. There's quite a lot to talk about here, but this should be a good intro into how chairs work and how anchors work in general, so let's get started. I'll hop over to into Smooth POV and show you what we're going to do. So in Smooth POV here, I have uh, a chair to the left of me, and it's just two boxes parented to each other uh, in the shape of a chair without any legs, but that's fine for our tutorial. You can find this model in my tutorials folder, in my public folder. Uh, there'll be two versions, one which is set up and one which is not set up, and so you can use the unset up one to follow along at home, and the set up one to use as a chair. It's free to use. So here we're going to select the root of the chair, and we need to start adding components. Now chairs uh, and avatar anchors in general have a lot of components, so do bear with me as we add quite a few. I'll go through what each one does as we add it. So attach component, users, common avatar system, Anchors, Avatar Anchor. This is the core component of the Avatar Anchor. We'll be referring to it a lot, so just stand by for it. Attach Component, Users, Common Avatar System, Anchors, Avatar Anchor Locomotion Release. This one um, allows you to be released from an Avatar Anchor when you jump or when you move. Um, it's similar to the way that chairs work over in uh, other VR platforms whereby you can jump or you can uh, move an extreme amount and it will let you get out of the chair. And then one more which is uh, attach component, users, common avatar system, anchors, avatar anchor touch trigger. This one is what allows you to click the chair to get into it. And this is the first one we're actually going to set up. What we're going to do is take the avatar anchor from the higher in the component list and drop it into the anchor slot on the avatar anchor touch trigger and now you'll see it says avatar anchor on chair we're also going to go ahead and check the exit box because that lets us exit and enter the anchor by clicking on it so now i've got an anchor set up it's not going to do much as you'll see so when i click the chair here i am now in the chair in in the chair um, and you'll see i can't move anymore and that's because i'm anchored to that chair but i'm not on the chair and so we're going to fix that next with the Avatar Anchor Locomotion release though, if I jump, you'll see I'm now out of the chair. I can also exit the chair by clicking on it again. Let's set it up so that we actually go into the chair. To do that, we're going to need to scroll up to the Avatar Anchor. And see where it says here, Position node. Set that to be hips. Set the Rotation node here to be hips as well. Then grab the chair and put it into position node. Grab the position node variable and put it into rotation reference as well. So position reference and rotation reference should be slot on chair. And now when I click the chair, you'll see I'm now in the chair. And when I say in, I mean literally in. You can see I'm kind of sort of curled up in a in a bunch on, inside the chair. And we're going to fix that. So I'm going to get out the chair here by jumping. And then we're going to set up some uh, what are called pose constraints. Now, pose constraints allow you to specify where the legs, the arms, the head, every single part of the body are when you're inside an anchor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create two pose constraints, one for the left foot and one for the right foot, and those are going to control where the left and right foot are. I got these mixed up on a previous recording of this video, so I'm going to try and get those right this time. Uh, so what we're going to do here is go to the top of the chair, hit star, and create the left foot, so left foot, and then we're going to move that to where we think the left foot should be. You'll notice that the gizmo is becoming a little bit inaccessible to do that, uh, to get at it, and what I'm going to do is move away from the object a little bit, and you'll see the gizmo comes out of the chair. And so now I can pull it out the front of the chair, drop it down, and move it to the left. But we need to move it to the left um, in respect to the person in the chair. So I'm going to come around to the back of the chair so I don't screw this up this time. Uh, so we move the left foot there. And then we'll go up and we will attach a component to this new left foot slot. And we're going to attach the component. It's in a different folder, so bear with me. Users, common avatar system, pose filters, avatar pose box constraint. That's the one we're going to add. Just give me a second here. I think we are still recording. I thought we'd uh, lost recording, but we'll carry on. So here on the avatar pose box constraint for the left foot, go ahead and grab the uh, left foot and stick it into default pose reference. And then we're ready to duplicate that slot and we'll name it right foot.
and then we're ready. We just need to move the right foot along to the bit. So now I've got right foot selected. I'm going to move it along to the right and leave it there. And now we have left foot and right foot set up. We now need to go back to the chair and register them with the avatar anchor. To do this, scroll down the chair, find the avatar anchor, and you'll see a list called filters. Here add two, so add twice. And then also add a um, filter to the filters, the nested filter list, the filter list within the filter list. So add one to each of those. Now here on the uh, top of the filter for zero, you'll see it says node. This is gonna have to be the left foot and the right foot. As a tip here, if you go backwards, you'll get to the feet faster. So they are, I'm on left foot, and then here we'll go backwards to right foot. And then here we just need to set the filter. So here for left foot, I drag left foot into left foot, and for right foot, I drag it into right foot, and we're done. Now when I click the chair, you'll see that my feet go down. There is a momentary um, glitch as I get into the chair. But if I move the mirror down, let's just make it bigger, you'll see that my feet are now on the ground. What's cool with avatar anchors is that I could move this left foot and right foot whilst I'm in it to just check that I had a comfortable place. So here you can see I'm now moving my foot. I bring my legs closer together or further apart. I could also rotate and, and, and scale those things, but we won't do those. So now I've kind of got a chair going. You will notice, however, that I'm kind of in the chair. Let's try and fix that. So we get out of the chair again, so jump. And we're gonna make a, another empty slot underneath the chair, and we're gonna call that one hips. We're not going to add a box constraint to that one. We're just gonna call it hips. And then we're gonna go back to the chair and change on the avatar anchor the, um, position reference and rotation reference. So position reference to hips and rotation reference to hips. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the hips and bring bring the hips up a little bit and jump back in. And there you go. You'll see I'm now more normally sat into the chair. And you could tweak this further. We're actually gonna stop here though for this tutorial as we have a basic chair go. So I know that was a lot to go over, but I actually have created something that might make this a bit easier. I uh, put it over here. This is a component clone tip, which is set up with multiple components. So if I had that exact same setup, in fact, I'm just going to make a cube, a 3D model box, zoom out here. If I inspect this box, scroll to the bottom, and I use this very special avatar uh, anchor setup component clone tip once, you'll see it adds all the components you need. So it's added the avatar anchor, it's added the locomotion release, it's added the touch trigger. You do need to set these variables up. I can't set them dynamically for you, but you'll have to drag the avatar anchor in, set exit up here, and then uh, it will work. Actually, you need to specify the position as well. Uh, here and here, and set this to hips and hips hips and hips. So there you go. You can find that in my public folder. I'll put it in tools and the component pliers folder. It's just uh, going to be kind of a lot easier for you to um, set up a chair because it will add the three components that you need. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I will save this one and a blank one to the public folder under tutorials so you can follow along uh, at home and build yourself a chair. If you'd like other objects such as a bed or anything else like that, let me know. There's also a lot more you can do with avatar anchors. Uh, if you'd like to know more about that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.